Sup guys, how's it going? It is me, Cosmos here. Welcome back to another video on the channel, guys. In today's video, I'm giving you guys a top five reasons why Zetsubo no Shima sucks. And Zetsubo no Shima has a ton of pros, and it also has a ton of cons. But in my opinion, I reckon the cons overweigh the pros, and that's what we're talking about right here. But guys, let's get into the number five spot right now. And coming in at our number five spot is the setup. The setup on this map is crazy, man. Back in the olden days, we used to be playing Kino to Toad, and all you had to do, grab your perks, turn the power on, and then you're off, man. You just got to get the ray gun, get the power on, and you could train around the theater, and it's just simple. That's what zombies is meant to be. But in this uh, new Zetsubo no Shima map, it literally takes two hours to set up, and if you don't have a perkaholic, man, you're screwed. You're gonna be knifing zombies till round 10, trying to get enough to actually get uh, Juggernaut by round 10, like, man, what, what's up, man? It's quite hard to survive without Juggernaut for 10 rounds if you're just like, a new player and you're, you, you get into know the game and you need Juggernaut to survive. And that is the reason why this comes in our number 5 spot, guys, because the setup isn't really that hard, it's just really tedious. And if you don't have a Pergaholic, it's really hard. And I struggle to play this map without a Pergaholic, guys. So anyway guys, we're going to get into our number 4 spot right now, and coming in at our number 4 spot is the power. The power is meant to be a simple thing to turn on in zombies, but in Zetsubo no Shima, they've made it hard, man. Like, uh, why do you have to, um, like, get water and put it into the things and then it's got to drain it? It's just so confusing, man. When I first got the map, I'm just like, what? And you got to, like, you got to, you got to get it on, like, permanently and then... Not permanently. Oh, that's so confusing, man. Like, I don't know why they just did that. If they just made it, like, you didn't have to actually turn it on, like, non-permanently, that would be alright, I guess, and you just had to go into the uh, bunker and open up that door to the left. That would be alright, but you just had to make it that hard to trade up, man. And it is really, really annoying to turn on. You gotta open up, like, $5,000 worth of doors, and it's crazy, bro. It's crazy to get that power on, and it's so expensive. So anyway guys, let's get into our number 3 spot, and this actually uh, links in with the other one. Everything is so expensive. To open up the whole map, I think it costs $20,000. There are so many doors. Like, I think just to open up the bunker itself is $10,000. And like, it's so hard to get everything done, especially in the bunker. Like, the bunker is like the main part of the map. And the doors are so much, like every single door is $1,500 in there. And it is so much. It is so much money to get down there and you need to have a ton of money to get in there and open up the power it is really the source for everything that bunker you need to turn on the power get the kt4 get the kt4 upgrade get the pack of punch it is so hard to get down there i wish they just had the doors for 1000 points not 1500 it would have made everything a whole bunch easier but anyway guys let's get in to the number two spot right now guys coming in at the number two spot is the thrashers the amount of times that anyone has just spawned in and then just been absolutely squashed by a thrasher. You, you, you're just in there in the, in the final boss fight, right? And then, and then, and then a, a thrasher just comes, lands right on top of your head. You're down. You get back up. You walk across. Then one hits you down again. It is absolute craziness, guys. These thrashers are just crazy. I like the addition. I think that. They added it to make the map harder and make it more annoying. And I really like the idea of that, but they're so annoying. Even sometimes, if you have Widow's Wine, you have all your perks, the Thrasher can still one-hit you. Even the Magua couldn't one-hit you. Like, it's crazy, man. It's crazy that this is happening. These guys are like... These guys just spawn out of the ground, you can get trapped, and you've got a whole horde behind you. It is crazy, man. But now, guys, we are going to get into the number one spot. And in the number one spot, we have the Spiders. The spiders, guys. The spiders. These spiders are just the most annoying thing that has ever happened in zombies. You get into your training spot um, where the boss fight was. Train around there. There's literally about 20 spiders at once. They're spawning out of the ground. I hate how they spawn out of the ground. And then they, like, trap you. And then that's how I die most of the time. These spiders, they're just... They're so unpredictable. Their movements are crazy, man. And, but during the spider rounds, they're actually alright, but during the actual uh, rounds, like just random rounds, they are so annoying. When you have thrashes, spiders, and zombies as well, it is crazy. It's absolute chaos, and this map is so hard to get to a high round on. I don't know how I got to round 50 on it, but relaxing in. Congratulations for getting to like round 100, bro. But anyway, guys, that'll be the video. If you enjoyed the top 5, don't forget to smash the like button below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.